Hey, folks, how you guys doing out there? I have a really nice one here for you guys. This is a beauty right here. This one is from the great, uh, the 80s right here. Such great years. This one is um, 1985. Of course, you can see the date. And this one is graded 66 PPQ, the premium paper quality. I'm doing the best I can with, with the uh, glare. Sorry about the uh, movement because it's very tough to videotape in these uh, cases. They're all protective and stuff and they reflect. Beautiful note right here, folks. From the, uh, this is the 80s note. Great years, 1985. Not sure how old, you know, a lot of the folks are out there, but I'm sure that the 80s were a great year for most of you guys. You know, I'm not saying that I'm old and not like that, but I'm not a spring chicken folk, so great, great years. You know, this, uh, excuse me, this, uh, you know, this date brings a lot back to especially myself. Sorry, folks, but the reflection is tough. As you can see, this is graded 66. True beauty right here, folks, you know? Gorgeous notes. A lot of folks out there don't have to spend crazy money to start collecting. I started collecting with my first, I was just working at a shop many years ago, and I guess someone had handed me a older $10 bill, and it was a demand note, and I was like, gee, you know, this looks really different, and it looks really cool, so I started collecting it. Hey, folks, I don't even want to tell you guys, right, folks, the notes that I passed away a couple of decades ago when I had no clue, when I had just began collecting, I had this, you know, this $50 bill. It was a transfer ink, right? From the back to the front, you could see it. You know, that $50 bill, I've never seen any condition like that. I never seen anything like that. Well, that $50 bill was probably worth about $500, right? You know, being an ink transfer era, you can see the whole back on the front. And I was like, wow, you know, this this note is unreal. I've never seen nothing like that. But what was the mistake that I made that I try to tell you guys on my show nonstop? If it looks different, if you think it's different, if you think it's something, just put it aside, right? If you can, of course, because... You know, it's tough to save all this money. I mean, but I understand a little by little, but and that fifty dollar bill no folks, I passed it back in circulation. I was like, wow, then I didn't know what I what it was until you know how many years ago. Because you know, years ago, folks, when I started collecting, right, there was no YouTube, there was no you know, internet like that. I mean, there was, you know, they didn't have all these platforms right now where folks like myself, you know, regardless of the topic, but you can just go over there now and just, you know, Google or YouTube anything and pretty much, you know, find it, you know, mostly anything I should say, because anything is a big word, right? But, and then I remember all the other ink areas. I remember all the other mistakes folks that i passed back i was like wow i just couldn't believe that i had such treasure in my hand folks i don't even want to tell you guys right how many 50s and how many older hundred dollar bills right that i that i got in my hand they were star they were this they were that i just had no clue to what they were you know what i mean i was like wow and i'm sure you know Everybody has a similar story anyways. But this one here's a beauty right here from the great uh, 80s era. 
right there you're probably looking at the uh you know break dancing times right it was probably like between 81 82 or so right that it began and it uh it was you know like i said it was the great golden years i guess i appreciate you guys thank you